what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back some more black sales man <clears throat> um yeah took a break <laughs> and now i'm back and i know my intros are not everybody's cup of tea okay i know i know it's not i do my stuff real naturally just let it flow off the tongue if i mess up i mess up okay we're not perfect. I'm not one of those YouTubers who go through and try to cut out every little blemish. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to come off as perfect to anyone. I want you guys to know I'm a guy, just a guy, just doing reactions. <laughs> that's, that's it. Just, that's all I want you guys to know. Every now and then I, I give away stuff. It's just what I do, <laughs> okay? Um, so I don't have time. I could, you know, go in and cut out every arm and ooze and, you know, uh, uh, you know, I could. I'm just too lazy to do it. <laughs> you know, every now and then. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. Black Sail Season 3, Episode 3. Um, I'm loving this series. I know you guys are loving it too. I know, um, everybody on YouTube, they, I'm recording this episode 9 of season 2 is out on the channel make sure you go and check that out uh, but i know people are early access they're enjoying it i think we got like probably around 11 people watching black sales on early access so that's pretty cool um, <clears throat> um so if you have not signed up for early accesses early access is actually um going forward from today they're still going to be four episodes ahead so you can always depend on that right if you wanted to as i said it's only two dollars a month um if you can't afford it you can if you can't that's okay too um but i'm loving this season man season three strong start so far um two episodes in and i'm looking forward to seeing more of what's going to happen because um you know people are plotting eleanor is on her way back to the island to go take it they got um, you know, the, the, the English over there too, miles away, you know, plotting to come take the island, you know, under, under colonial rule. And they have a lot to fight against. Hornigold became a bitch for the bitch, for the British. Don't like him. You know what I'm saying? Ended out a clown that I can never remember his name until he shows up <laughs> but in any case guys things are rolling along flint is doing flint things vane is doing vain things and then they introduce a new character which i believe will be called blackbeard i don't know if they're gonna actually call him blackbeard but as i said before i know that the name teach has always been synonymous with the nickname blackbeard when you talk about old days of piracy, right? So, legendary figure. So I'm guessing this is who is going to play that role. Um, you know, he came in and he's be like, yo, men need chaos <laughs> to survive. Peace is not good, it needs strife. <laughs> so the strangest line I've ever heard in a, show, in a TV show, I swear to you guys, this is the strangest line because I've never heard people like, you're not a villain. You're not exactly advocating for no peace. You just believe that strife build men a lot more. And although you can understand it, it's still a very strange thing to say as a human being. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll see how it goes. It's kind of like, it's, it, it's kind of like, in my opinion, the way how it is, it's like you're, you're saying, it's better to go... Um, fight in the army and fight for your country and then sit at home and play video games <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it, it's like the comparison is so it's so strange it's it's, it's like when you hear some people say that it, it, it's like um, you, you know what I mean it, it, it's like it's either I it's like okay my life don't have no purpose if I play video games but it has purpose if I go join the army like that's how it sounds you know what i mean so let's get into it man and i'll see you guys for the review all right so 
so that was episode three of season three and i have to say when it comes down to this series man like i can sit down and binge watch the hell out of this show and just and and record if it wasn't for the fact that i have so many other shows to watch and stuff like that that i have to record i would just would have finished the series already i would i would have definitely finished the series already um but as we continue um this episode was really nice man seeing silver actually you know standing up to flint and letting him know is like listen see that we're gonna be partners and not rivals because um if you respect me more i, I understand and, and i think that truth needed to get out and i think it was a good strategy to go at flint with that first is like I am being completely honest with you right now. You know what I'm saying? You already know the type of man I was. That's not the person I am anymore. So you knew the person I was. So, you know, hearing this should not surprise you. You get what I'm saying? You can be mad about it. You can be angry about it. But it should not surprise you that Silver pulled off something pulled off something like this. Because one thing you, you can't say about Silver is that he, he, he is dumb. At first, I think in the beginning episodes, I was saying that about him. <laughs> but when you take all things considered of his character throughout two seasons going into three seasons, he's a very intelligent guy. You know what I'm saying? He's intelligent. He does that. He uses it for the wrong reasons. He uses his intelligence to manipulate too much. And that's the thing. So he's got the gift of the gab. You know, he can talk himself out of any situation. And you got to be intelligent to, to be able to do that. People think that, you know, only, you know, you, you know, when it comes on to people who are just very quick to, you know, throw fists and shoot and, you know, knife you, whatever, you know, those people are, are considered not very intellectual. That's just how it is. And in my opinion, you're not very an intellectual person. You can be both. But when you're on that side of the coin, people really do think that you can't think anything through and you can't come up with better decisions. And that's the reason why your your first instinct is always to, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get mad and get angry and want to kill somebody. So um, it's like you lack the ability of reason, you know. So when you have that, you know, most people would rather have the gift of gab than... Well, I wouldn't say most people, but, you know, in my experience, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather try to talk to somebody rather than getting angry at them. And, you know, I I'm always ready to reason with people when it comes on to certain things. And that's why, you know, when it comes on to my comment section, a lot of times I try to reason with people because a lot of times they don't understand why I do the, the things that I do sometimes or why I say the things that I say sometimes you know and that's why i say everybody is welcome here to have their opinion out just be intelligent about it and don't just come in here and be like i hate you and leave you get what i'm saying like it, it, it doesn't accomplish anything i don't understand why you don't why you hate the thing you say you hate so if you give me an understanding and say okay because a lot of people has disagreed with me you know what i'm saying and resort to name calling sometimes call me an idiot or whatever the situation is and you know i've you know responded to those comments because i'm like you don't have to call me stupid you don't have to do all these things because i never called anybody stupid during my comments and it could be just about a character in the show you know what i'm saying so I'm definitely glad that they figured how their relationship and how they're going to move forward. That is very dope by Silver and Flint, right? They caught a shark. As I said, that's some manly stuff right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope one day I could do something so cool like that where it's just like, yo, I could be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there are just certain things that a man could do or a woman could do that you could that that you like other people would look at and be like yo i wish that was me <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what i mean that because it just it just looks cool and to to look at that and be like you know what i'm saying you shouldn't aspire to do to to be like that because 
no man there's just certain things that are just really cool about just seeing you know whether you're watching it on tv whether you, whether you see it experience it for yourself you'd be like shit i should have been in that position um to do that might not have been as successful as that guy but i would love to try it you know what i'm saying and for me i'm looking at myself and me being a, a very like low-key person and also very adventurous and and you know going out and doing things that i never thought i would ever do you know skydiving and you know, um, zero gravity, you know, parks or whatever they call them and, and, and stuff like that. Like stuff that I'm, you know, if, if you had called me probably 10, 15 years ago, I would have probably told you, hell no, I would never do that. And I'm doing them now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you just want to experience things because because it's because it's like even though you just want to get out of your comfort zone sometimes. And some people will never get out of their com their comfort zone. Like some people, you would never get them to go to like the highest building in the world and, and, and look off the top. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they're scared of heights. And that's something that I used to be afraid of when I was younger. But then I conquered it by just climbing stuff. And nobody told me to do that. You know what I'm saying? I used to be very afraid of heights. But then when I was young, you know, I just started to climb trees and, you know, be on top of roofs and stuff like that. And that fear just went away eventually. And I know it's not the same for everybody. You know, that might not cure you. It might just make you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's this unseen force that you see when you, when you, when you're at a certain height and it feels like it's pulling you over the edge and stuff like that. And that's the feeling that you get when you're afraid of heights is like you this unseen force is just you you feel like it's gonna push you over the edge or it's gonna drag you over the edge you know what i'm saying so um so yeah i'm not afraid of heights anymore um so there's just those manly things that was super awesome to see them stab a shark like that i would like to do that you know what i'm saying i would love to do that i mean and and eat shark meat not raw but yeah, eat shark meat. I've eat shark meat before, but I'm saying to catch it myself and eat it, that would be awesome. <laughs> Just like how I've, I've always wanted to go hunting. That's one of the things that I want to do is to, you know what I'm saying, shoot a deer. I've never had deer meat. I want to shoot a deer, go hunting, whatever the situation is. Just shoot an animal and just eat it in the woods. <laughs> like, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? So, pretty awesome stuff, man. Um love this episode um horny gold it seems like the guys are giving up on the beach um seems like the guys are they, they're giving up because they've been basically getting pardoned and stuff like that and they they want to go and um there's a bounty out on vane's head now horny gold and the friend is a bitch bro i can't stand them i can't stand them but that is the case and now Flint is gonna be stranded. They don't know what's going on, and they, you know what I'm saying? It looks like they got some, some. I, I don't even know. I don't know who they are, but it's some, some black dudes with paints on their face and stuff like that. I was thinking Africa, but then I was like, there's no way they drifted all the way to Africa from, you know what I'm saying, from the, the West Indies. Like that would be crazy, cause they were in, they were in St. Kitts, right? I think that's the last place they visited, if I'm not. Or, or that's where, I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't remember where they were before they left and, and then got into the storm. But I definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the next episode. Hope you guys are ready too. I'll see you guys when that happens. All right. So like, comment, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. I'm out. Peace.